Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to a very special video covering the subject of backing up your data. Now primarily there are two types of backup, on-site or off-site. And on-site data backup can include backing up to an external hard drive or backing up your data to a DVD or Blu-ray disc or indeed backing up to a NAS device or network attached storage device. Off-site backups can include using a cloud-based service, or indeed, you can even back up to hard drive, Blu-ray or DVD disc, or a NAS device as previously discussed, and transform those into off-site backups as well. And we look at each individual option in this video. So let's start by looking at the easiest option, which is connecting an external hard drive to your computer and backing up your files. Now there are many hard drives to choose from. You can choose a small two and a half inch mobile hard drive or indeed a full size desktop hard drive and connect this to your computer via the likes of USB or Thunderbolt and then back up your data very quickly and easily. The next option is backing up to an optical disc and this can be either a DVD or a Blu-ray. Now there are quite a few options here but we're going to look primarily at two different manufacturers and two different types of media. The first one is from Freecom and this is a Blu-ray writer and you can use this with a variety of media including DVDs and Blu-rays and my chosen media for using with this particular drive is from Verbatim and they make a range of Blu-ray discs and the longevity is probably around about 100 years of shelf life. Although Verbatim are soon to be launching new media, which moves me very nicely on to the second option, which is this really nice LG Blu-ray writer, and that can be used alongside M-Disc media. Now you can see some M-Disc media here, and this gives you even more longevity to your data. It actually engraves your data into a patented layer technology that has been proven to last a thousand years. It's also temperature, light and humidity resistant. Now this is very important because if you're committing your data to disk, you want it to have a very good shelf life. The next option is backing up to a NAS device and this is a product that you install hard drives into. You connect it to your network via Ethernet and then it allows you to centrally store your files and access them across multiple computers and even access them remotely. Now there are many NAS devices on the market from units that accommodate just one hard drive to multiple bay units that offer more features and data redundancy. Now data redundancy means that your data is written to the hard drive in bay one of your NAS device and then it's mirrored onto a second disk or mirrored across multiple disks. So if one hard disk fails, you haven't lost your data. Now my brand of choice for NAS devices is Synology. And what I have here is the Synology Disk Station DS1815 Plus, which accepts eight three and a half inch or two and a half inch hard drives or solid state drives and features a powerful quad core processor two gigabytes of RAM, which is expandable to six gigabytes, and superb performance of over 450 megabytes per second read speed and 420 megabytes per second write speed. I will cover this particular model in more detail in a separate video. Now, even though NAS devices are really very forgiving in the type of hard drive you can install in them, these devices are really gonna be used sometimes 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So I would select a NAS specific hard drive. Now the hard drives I choose to use in this DS1815 Plus are the Western Digital Red NAS hard drives. They're really designed for use within this environment. Now all Synology NAS devices are set up and managed with their Disk Station Manager software, which has a very intuitive interface. It's high on security and allows you to manage your NAS and also install applications to further extend its feature set. You can access NoteStation, for example, which is great for sharing and collaborating with others. You can set up your own personal cloud. You can easily manage and serve up videos for streaming with VideoStation and a whole lot more besides. I use the DS1815 Plus for my local backups with data redundancy offered across the hard drives 
and a more cost-effective two-bay Synology DS215J for my off-site backups. Now this is all very easy to set up and manage and it gives me great peace of mind that my data is safe. Now we're going to move on and look at off-site backups and it's very important to factor this into your strategy. And the reason you want to do this is because if you're storing your data locally in your home or your office using one of these many choices and something unfortunate happens, maybe you get burgled, maybe there's a house fire, you will lose all of that data. So it's very important to also store your data off-site and there are many options available. The first type of off-site backup is a cloud-based service. And you've got the likes of Carbonite, Backblaze, or the one that I choose to use, which is called Crash Plan. You subscribe to the plan you want, you set your backup going, and wait for your data to be backed up over the internet to their servers. There are many pros. The fact that your data is off-site, it's very cost-effective, and there's no additional hardware required. There are cons as well, though. It can take a long time for the initial backup to complete, and it can also take a long time for you to get your files back if you need to restore your data. Now, I also mentioned that you could actually turn your hard drive backups, your DVD and Blu-ray discs into off-site backup solutions. And this is the same as discussed earlier. You'd back up to your external media, and then once that backup is complete, you actually move your discs off-site to a safe location. This could be something like a relative's house or another business that you trust and you just simply entrust them with your media and then every month or every couple of weeks you rotate the media around and give fresh backups to the off-site location. Now the final option that I want to discuss with you for off-site backup is in my opinion probably the best because it's the most flexible and it gives you the most features as well and very high security and that is using a NAS device for remote location backup. And what I basically do is I use the DS1815 Plus for my local backup, you can see that sitting on the desk here, and then every evening that backs up to a cheaper two-bay NAS device that is stored in a remote location. So this is primarily a very similar setup to before, what we discussed in the first part of this video, except you locate your NAS device off-site in a safe location and then you back up your files remotely. You control things much better here than using a cloud-based service. The pros are that you have control, the initial backup can be done locally and then you move the device to this uh, remote location. And then if your files ever need to be restored, so if you have a computer failure and you need to restore your files, you can actually physically go and collect your NAS device bring it back to your home or office location and complete the restore. Now there are some cons and the main con is the initial outlay. You obviously have to buy that NAS device and the hard drives, which you don't have to do if you use a cloud-based service. Ultimately, backing up your data is your decision, but I really wouldn't take things for granted. Whether you've got photos and videos for personal memories or indeed for business use, they are very, very valuable. At the very least, have one on-site backup method and one off-site backup method. It'll give you great peace of mind. And if your computer goes wrong or you have a hard drive failure in your computer, you at least know you've got a backup of all your data. I certainly hope that some of these methods has given you some insight as to the options available. And I thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, please do hit that like button, share a link to it, and I will see you all in the next one.